Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about hair shedding. So stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, one of the questions we commonly get asked on the channel in the comments section and also something that's brought up time and time again in the clinic is this topic of hair shedding. It really upsets people quite understandably. When you see uh, lots of hair falling out either on, the, uh, on your hand, on a comb, uh, on the pillow, in the, in the shower, it can be very perturbing. And so we need to look into that and investigate that a little bit further because hair shedding can be normal, all right? Hair generally grows for most people between three to five years. In women, that uh, time limit can be a little bit longer. And then what happens after that phase, that growth phase of the hair follicle, that hair follicle will be ejected, it will shed. And then uh, three months later, a new little hair follicle will come through in its place and then that process starts again. And that carries on over the course of, uh, of your life. So that's the general sort of life cycle of the hair and the sh shedding is a normal part of that life cycle. And generally speaking for most of us, it, the hair cycles don't synchronize, which is great. Otherwise, every three to five years, we'd go bald. But instead, this hair on my scalp, this particular hair may uh, be destined to fall out tomorrow. And then day after tomorrow, this hair. But so we are able to lose about 100 to 150 hairs per day. And that can be quite you know, disturbing for some people to see that many hairs fall out in any one go. Um, so sometimes it, it, that's a mathematical average. That doesn't happen every single day. There may be days when you lose 10 or 20 hairs. And commonly there'll be other days and it sort of happens like waves. They can build on each other. You may go through phases, seasonal changes where you're losing more. You're losing 200 hairs per day. But on average for most people, 100 and 150 hairs per day is about normal. So what constitutes a normal shed and what constitutes hair loss that we're concerned about? Well, in someone like myself who keeps the hair relatively short, slightly harder to see. But if you've got someone who's got longer hair, then the thing, the question I ask is, well, with the hair loss that you're experiencing and the hair fall that you're experiencing, how long are those hairs? If those hairs are long and you're losing longer hairs, then they're more than likely that's part of the normal hair shedding process. But if you're shedding shorter hairs, it means that that specific hair follicle has not been able to or allowed to reach the final point in its hair cycle growth and it's been ejected a bit too early. And that can happen in a variety of different conditions. It can happen in metabolic conditions like thyroid. It can happen in androgenic alopecia, so male pattern hair loss, female, female pattern hair loss. It can happen in scarring alopecias as well. So we have to really define well, what, is, what is going on. And so it, it, really, it is really important to make sure that this is investigated properly. You're seen by someone who's experienced. But as a general rule of thumb, my take home is that if you're experiencing loss of hair and it's longer hair, then you know it's more likely to be shedding. But again, if you're someone who keeps the hair relatively short, that's harder to tell. So again, it's sort of important to have this uh, checked out. But shedding of the hair, and it can happen in spurts where you're shedding more on one particular uh, time uh, period than another, may be normal, but it's important to get it checked out and make sure you're reassured. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.